Hii leo wa Kenya una sababu ya kutabasamu kutokana na idadi ya wagonjwa waliopata nafuu. Ishara kwamba corona inatibika. Idadi ya leo ya wagonjwa waliopona ikiwa ndio ya juu zaidi kwa kuripotia tangia kupatikana kwa virusi hivyo humu nchini. Today first we are delighted to inform you that we have discharged the highest number of patients in a single 24 hour period. We have discharged 175 patients from the various facilities who have recovered from the coronavirus disease. This brings the total number of recoveries to 1,048. Na licha wa Kenya zaidi ya 1,300 kupatikana na virusi hivyo, zaidi ya 75% ya wagonjwa hawako katika hatari yoyote kwani hawajaonyesha ishara yoyote ya kuzorota kwa afya yao. Hata hivyo kisa cha mtoto wa miaka miwili kilichoripotiwa hii leo kikiwa miongoni mwa visa vya wagonjwa wachanga zaidi. Hata hivyo kuna idadi ya wagonjwa zaidi ya saba ambao kwa sasa wanahitaji kuangaliwa kwa karibu huku wengi wao wakiwa wenye umri wa juu kiasi cha hoja. Most of those patients who progress to become severe and sometimes even critical tend to be number one older patients two have some other comorbidities. We have 781 patients admitted across our public and private health facilities. Out of the 781, seven are critical. They are in ICU. Four are under intubation and two are under ventilation. Wizara ya Afya hata hivyo inazidi kuandikisha visa vipya katika maeneo ya mipakani huku hofu ikizidi kupanda kutokana na foleni ndefu inayozidi kuonekana kila uchao. Jambo ambalo sasa serikali inalaumu wenye magari kwa kiasi sawia na madereva wao kwa kutofuata taratibu zilizotolewa. And since we launched the protocols that control the movement of truck drivers along the transport corridor we've seen various in the system on our part, but largely on the part of the truck owners, the truck drivers. Taifa likiendelea kujitayarisha kwa matibabu ya nyumbani. Suwali nije wa Kenya wananidhamu ya kumtenga mgonjwa hadipali atakapopata nafuu. Jimmy Mbogo K24, Samoja.